Awesome figures, bro. Hey, Amen. Yo, this right here, this is my most expensive unboxing I've done so far. This one costs $300. I had to make payment plans on it because I couldn't just shell out $300. Like, oh, yo, so it took me about two months to do so. Every time I stopped by, I dropped off like 80 bucks. I was like, yo, man, here we go. Yo, man, here we go. This right here is a Koto Bakia Storm. I've been wanting this one for a long time, especially because she's got the Mohawk head. So let's take a quick look around of this figure of the box. Ooh, on the side, we got some embossing. It says Storm. And then, oh no, Rip Flair. Yo, he can't handle the excitement, man. He can't handle it. He's just like, it's too much for him. But Marvel Comics presents the Code of Collection Storm Danger Room Sessions Fine Art Statue. Fine Art Statue. Oh, man. Dude, this is... This is awesome. This is awesome. So, guys, let's get it cracking. taped all around it, all around the middle. All right, let's do this. Oh man. Yo, she came in pieces. That's what she said. So, ooh, whoa, whoa. This thing has some weight to it. Oh, it absolutely does. It absolutely does. Oh man. Dude. Pieces. All right, so we got pieces. We should probably start off with the base. This thing right here, heavy. It's got some weight to it. It really does have some weight to it. And we'll get rid of that. Ew. Mm -hmm. mm. Storm herself. Yes. Mm. There we go. It's been completed. And here it is. Dude, this thing looks dope. Hold it. <laughs> this thing. Oh my God. This is serial business. Like, dude, I'm checking this thing out, man. And like, I wanted this. I wanted this for so long. Like, dude, I really wanted this. Like, and I saw it in the store the first time that I saw it. He had it, and what he ended up doing with it is selling it. He took it to a convention and he sold it. And he sold it, and I was like, ah. But then, hmm, some months later, bam, another one shows up, and it was at the same price. And so, I bought it. That was awesome. And. Last, but not least, this thing, this thing right here. Oh my God. So Aurora Monroe, the hair is long. It flows. It's just like, <laughs> but this, the Mohawk. Yo, man, Mohawks are so cool. Like, I wish that I could do a mohawk, but I don't, I can't do a mohawk. I mean, <laughs> because of my work and life, you know? But if I could, I would. Now, we're gonna do the close up. Cause you guys, you guys need a close up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get you guys the close up of a Roro Monroe. Oh yes.
yes, oh yes, look at the mohawk, the mohawk, it is such serious business, like you guys, I don't think y'all understand, I don't think y'all understand, and so, here is the regular head, I like it, it's really cool, but I'm about that mohawk life. Like, dude, that mohawk life. Serious fucking business. Now, let me make sure I got the adjustments of, of the lenses, right? So, this figure right here, super dope. It is a tall figure. I'd have to say maybe around 13 or so inches. Okay, well guys, I'm a little bit sad faced because I have my measuring tool with me I don't know where I placed it but getting back to the nitty-gritty of it oh my god this figure right here it is super sturdy okay super sturdy the head magnetic everything else it had slots so there was like a piece like a metal sticking out and you like slide apart into the slot like this right here this piece of a sentinel there was a piece of metal sticking out so i had to slide the sentinel into that slot over here this was magnetic there was a gap and like i had to stick the piece on it and then magnet click so there was one two two magnetic spots on this thing but I think what weighs the most over this is the base the base it is heavy it is for sure for sure heavy but besides that dude the paint job on this is crazy good like yo Kota Bakia you guys be doing your do man and like the torn up sentinel as it's just flowing within the the maelstrom that she brings and like dude the wire that comes with it because dude there's no telling how much wire is inside one of those sentinels man there's gotta be butt tons for years dude it's just crazy and she just tears the thing to shreds man you know that's totally expected of uh, Aurora Monroe man she 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 will kick some serious sentinel butt man she does say she will and she'll continue to do so man she is definitely one of my favorite X-Men characters. But I will tell you, in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, my storm sucks. I've been trying to get her good. I've really been trying. My storm is just, it's just, it's not a good storm, okay? You know, I get into the lab though, but try jumps are just hella difficult. And like, man, like, I've been trying, man. I've been trying. But I, that's really all I can do. That's really all I can do. But dude, back to the statue, man. It's clean. It's pristine. Like, I have no discrepancies with it whatsoever. When I was doing the unboxing, man, I didn't find any kind of nicks or burrs or stuff that looked like, hey, this shouldn't be. Because, you know, like, you're looking at the Sentinel, man, and, like, it's supposed to look battle-worn, you know? It's supposed to look like something's happening to the Sentinel. But then if you look at Aurora herself, yo, she's just looking hella clean. And I can't wait to add her into the collection. Well, all right, folks, you got it here. The Kota Bakia Storm dude and yo, man, she's, she's looking great, man. I'm actually really glad to actually have her in the collection, man. It's just, it's dope, dude, it's dope. Now, I'm going to put her in the case. I can't keep her there for long without doing modifications to the case because this thing is heavy. She is heavy for a statue and I don't think that the IKEA Detoff will hold it without some modifications. So I'm going to do some modifications and then I'll have her in there and she'll be looking, she'll be looking pretty good. Anyways, guys, it's Awesome Figures, bro. I'm about to roll out. I hope you guys like the setup today. It was a little bit different. Yeah, you know, I'm rolling with the with the Spider Gwen hoodie and the Spider Gwen mask, man. Like, I had to do that today. I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided to do this, and it was fun. It was fun. And so I'm, I'm glad to do so, and I, I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, too. Anyways, this is Awesome Figures, bro, and I'm out. Peace. Good night, sugar. Ooh! <laughs>
that's what I'm talking about. Later, guys. <laughs>